Hello, this is part four of our video tutorial series on the Soul Man MIDI controller and how it functions with the one series pedals, the Neuro Hub, and the entire Neuro effects system. Now, in the previous two videos, we talked about scene mode. And you can see as I use the next and previous foot switches, I can scroll through all the presets I've created. But what if I want to rearrange the order of those presets, you know, to fit a particular set list or maybe a song? I want to scroll through different sections of the song and I want, you know, certain presets to be right next to each other. Well, that is where set list mode comes in handy. Set list mode allows me to just rearrange the order of the presets I've created. So to get into set list mode, I just use the mode button to select set list. And you can see I've got one already set up. It's called Boston right there at the top. And as I use the foot switches, I can scroll through my different presets. The first one is a bypass preset, which just turns everything off. And I have a univibe sound, harmonic tremolo. Use the previous foot switch, go back to the univibe, back up to the harmonic tremolo, pitch shifting delay. So that's my set list. But let's uh, create a new set list. So to do that, I'm going to press and hold this search button. These lights start to blink. You can see I've got my Boston set list and I move up to set list number one. So that is what the one that I'm going to use. Hit the search button. Now I want to name the set list. Now there's two ways to do this. There's two ways to do everything actually. I can either create everything right here in the Soul Man or I can use the Soul Man editing software to do it. And I'm going to show you the editing software after I show you how to do it within the Soul Man. So to create a name, right now it's called Set List 1, but I want to call this New Haven. So I, I use these foot switches to select the letter. Um, so there we've got an N. And then I use the search and the favorite tap or favorite switches to select which letter I'm adjusting. So there's an E, go up to the next one. And let's just fast forward. You get the idea of this. Okay, so I've named that set list New Haven, hit the confirm button, and there it is. Now, if I want to scroll through my different set lists, I just hold down the search button can see all these lights start to blink. I can use my previous and next foot switches to scroll through the different set lists. There's Boston, there's New Haven. Now I am actually able to save 64 different set lists. And in each set list, I can insert up to 90 presets. So a lot of flexibility there. Now let's start adding uh, presets to our set list. To add my first scene, I'm going to hit the Add button over here, and then my uh, presets come up. And I can use these buttons to the, the previous and next foot switches to scroll through my different presets. I'm going to use Univibe in my first slot. So I've selected that, and I hit the Confirm button. There it is. Now let's add another scene. Hit the Add button, scroll through. Let's do Number four, my rhythm slap back. Confirm. Let's add another one. I actually want to go back to my Univibe sound. So go to Univibe, hit Confirm, and you can see when I scroll through, I start at Bypass, go to my Univibe, go to my rhythm slap back, go back to Univibe. Okay. Now what happens if I want to insert something between two presets? So I want something between the rhythm slapback and the second univibe. So I go to my second univibe, press and hold the add button. Okay, the previous and next foot switches start to blink. Now I can scroll again, and in there I'm going to insert a helix sound, my preset number eight. Hit confirm, and there it is. So now let's check it out. You start at Bypass, Univibe, Rhythm Slapback. There's the Helix that I inserted, and back to the Univibe. 
Now, what if I want to take something out? Well, that's easy. I'm just going back to my helix. I want to get rid of the helix. Just hit remove and it is gone. Okay, so that's how we program a set list just using the Soul Man. Now let's do it with the Soul Man editor. So this is my Soul Man editor. Uh, I just need to connect from the USB on my computer to the USB jack on the pedal and we are connected. Now this is an even easier way to create a new set list. You can see this is my whole set list area right here. And look, if I open them up, I've already got the Boston set list right there, the New Haven set list, Univibe, Rhythm Slap, Univibe. Now let's create a new set list. Let's go down to set list two. I'm going to name this one New York. And hit return, and the set list name is saved to the Soul Man. Let's start adding scenes. It's very simple. I just go down here, click the Add button. Scene pops up. Open it or select it. Go to the item value and you can see I've got all my presets laid out here. I am going to start with a harmonic tremolo. Select that. There it is. Let's add another preset. Select it. Open it up here. And I want an oil can delay. Select that. Let's add another preset. Comes up as an oil can delay. I just hit it. Go to the item value. Let's scroll up to, let's go back to harmonic tremolo. Select harmonic tremolo and there it is. Harmonic, oil can, harmonic. Let's add one more. How about a helix delay? Okay, so that is the order. Okay, so you will be able to scroll through these five presets in order with the previous and next foot switches on the Soul Man. Now, if I want to remove something, let's say I want to remove this harmonic tremolo, select it, hit remove. Let's say I want to insert something. I'll hit the helix, and if I hit insert, we will get a position open right between the oil can and the helix. Select the helix. And let's put a police chorus in there. And there it is. And it's automatically saved to my soul man. And that's it. Now in the next video, we are going to get into panel mode which is where things really get interesting.